guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Kayla from Pumps and Pouts. If you're a first timer, welcome to my channel. I am so glad this is your first video to see because it's really fun. So today I am creating this look here. It is a fun uh, festival inspired look as you can see. I'm not going anywhere else with this, but <laughs> definitely not office appropriate unless you work at office and they kind of, you know, this is their thing. Um, but this would be a festival look for me, something fun, crazy, colored hair. I will show you guys how I do that in a different, in a different uh, video. And also this look here, um, what's made with some awesome products from Revlon that they sent over to me. So I'm excited to show you guys how I created it. Stay tuned if you want to see how this was done. All right guys, so I'm excited to start this look. As you can see that I have my festival hair going on here. I use the uh, Dark and Lovely hair color sprays. I will show you guys a tutorial on how you can use those, um, a different video. But we are gonna go over some Revlon stuff today and how to create a fun festival look for it. So I was sent a good, um, I was sent a PR box from Revlon and it had all their photo ready insta filter foundations in there. So I haven't matched myself yet. So we're going to check out this is 450 and 410 to see which one of these would be my shade. So what's really cool about these is that they have like the sponge applicator on there. Um, and so you just kind of twist the bottom of it. I like that they do that because then you can. Um, you can, oh, I think you twist the bottom. <laughs> you can apply using this, using the stick on there. So I am going to try this one here. And that one's not bad. It's a little light. This may be my winter color, I'm going to say. Not horrible. So I've gotten slight, a slight tan, but not too bad. So that one will probably be good for winter, but I think this one will be the 450 will be my shade for today, hopefully. Alright, and then that one's 450, and that one's gonna be a better match for me. So there we go with those. Alright, so I've already put on primer and I've done my brows. I don't have Revlon products for this yet, so I will get those because I'm going to do some more Revlon looks, of course. So on second thought, I'm actually going to do my eyes first for the fact that I'm doing um, bright colors and the fallout. I don't want it to get all um, mixed into my foundation and stuff, so I'm going to do my eyes and then we'll go back and do the foundation. So for my eyes, they sent me this Revlon Color Charge eyeshadow palette here so I'm going to go ahead and use that and so the shades that I'm going to use I think I'm gonna go with purple and blue and pink because I have a whole purple hair thing going on right now so <laughs> I'm gonna use these three colors here and then we'll go back in with like a little pop shimmer with this Revlon <laughs> with this Revlon loose powder Okay, so I'm gonna here, I'm gonna add the pink shade and I'm gonna go into like the crease of my eye. And then I'm gonna go back in the crease with the purple shade here going to drag it around across like the deep bottom part of it and then into the outer corner as well. And then I'm going to actually take this dark brown to um, darken it up a little bit. It's not getting as dark as I want it to around the crease. So I'm going to use this just a little bit though. 
a whole lot. All right, so now that that's good. Now I'm going to take the blue, this pretty blue, cobalt blue color, and I'm going to add that to my lid. I'm just going to pack this sucker on. I honestly probably should have used a white um, cream shadow underneath it just so I could pop a little more. But, uh, a little too late now, right? I'm just going to pack this sucker on. I honestly probably should have used a white um, cream shadow underneath it just so I could pop a little more. But uh, a little too late now, right? So we'll just try to pack it on as much as we can. We can show up. So now we got the blue on. I'm gonna go back and and blend so I'm not looking like a scary clown. So I'm just gonna go back in and blend. In between the crease and I'm actually going to take a little bit of purple and kind of go back in and blend with it more so now I'm gonna take this color charge here um, this is their Revlon loose color color charge um, and I'm going to take the loose powder and I'm going to just dab a little bit in the inner corner of my eyes and kind of at the top of my brow bones. This really pretty shimmery holographic color. And then I'm thinking, why not put a little bit at the center of my lid? A little bit just so I can give it a little more dimension because it just looks so flat and I kind of want it to really pop. So take a little bit, put it in the center of the lid. All right, and so there we go. And that gives it some more off, so I like that. Take just a little bit. Here I am going to be a little like, lighter because I don't want it to be too too bright underneath my brow bone. So I am going to just dab a little bit underneath here. And there we go. And then we're going to put on eyeliner and lashes. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Now my eyes are done and so now I can go ahead and do foundation. Um, I'm actually going to add some of this liquid illuminator and halo to my face to give myself like kind of a natural glow underneath. So I'm just use a little bit because I don't know how. Okay. This would even be really pretty to wear by itself. It doesn't, um, I guess, you know, if you don't get too heavy on with it on darker skin, it doesn't give you like a really bad white cast. It just kind of, it blends really good. Okay, so now I'm going to actually try one of these photo ready color correcting pens. They sent me three. They sent a purple one, a green one, and a like kind of coral color one. So I'm going to use this one in order to tame two dark spots and circles within my eyes. Ooh, 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 too much. And um, just dab a little on where I feel it's needed. Not a whole lot.
right, now I can apply this foundation here. It's gonna scroll it up some and then I'm gonna use the applicator on there to see how I like it. Um, it's a little stiffer, I think, than I like, but I do like the shape of it because um, it does help contour across the face. It is very lightweight and buildable. So I do like that as well. I don't feel like I'm like caking on um, foundation. However, I do think I wish that the applicator was a little softer. So I, I feel like I'm blending it I guess a little better. I mean, it's not blending badly. I just feel like it could be a little more blended, but I probably, what I'll do is just go back over it with a sponge and just kind of dab it in a little more. So that way it, it is the appropriate blendage. <laughs> That's even a word. I'm just gonna kind of go back in, especially around the hairline. Okay, so a um, couple things about this foundation. I do like the feel of it. It's very like weight. Um, the applicator, I do like the applicator. I think it's a little stiff. So I'm wondering if like wetting it or what I could do to make it a little softer to use at it. I mean, if all fails, just use your own sponge. Um, the shade, I think it matches, but it also still, to me, looks a little on the lighter side, but um, I'll use some bronzer and kind of warm it up some. Other than that, I think it looks good. I think they could use probably a couple shades darker than this is the oh wait nope no, not that one a couple shades darker than this one which is the 450 so i think i would probably be one shade up from this maybe and then the, they could do a couple more darker shades with this would be really good so other than that really do like it um let's go ahead and finish this look up Okay, so for concealer, I have the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. This is one that I had laying around that I completely forgot I own. And I'm hoping it's not too late because it looks a little on the lighter side. So if that's the case, I'm just going to go real light so I'm not looking crazy. It's not horrible, but... We'll work our way up to the coverage we need, depending on um, how light it is. So I'm just going to do a few dots. That way I'm not overdoing it. I'm going to take our sponge here. I'm going to just um, contour and um, not necessarily contour, I'm going to bronze my face a little bit and uh, put a little cheek color on. And I don't have any Revlon products in those at the moment, so I'm just going to use this uh, Morphe bronzer and the NYX um, blush that I have. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll be back and we'll finish up. Okay, so. Now I'm going to add highlighter and I'm going to use this Revlon Photo Ready Galaxy Dream palette here and I'm going to use, let's see, we can swatch these out. So these are the top two 
here. Those are the top two. One's like a green, one's kind of a purple color. It's really pretty. And let's see the two at the bottom. Okay, and then those. One's kind of like a bluish color, teal, and then one's a lilac. Hmm. I think I'm feeling the bottom one, which is this shade here. So we're gonna go with that one. It's gonna take a little bit. And or a lot of it. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna swipe this on here. It's actually pretty subtle. I thought it was gonna go on, uh, I think, a lot heavier than what it looks. And so that's actually really pretty. And I may go back over with the lilac color. So, we'll see. Or I could go over with green. Just to add another color because I got a lot of pink and purple and blue going on here. Yeah, but I can't see it the way that I would like you to. Or I kind of want a different shade. I mean, you can see it, obviously, you can see it. Um, but I feel like it's just so much pink, so maybe I should try this fun green color. We'll just go back over it and kind of add a contrast or a different shade. And I feel like a pretty festival alien. <laughs> So that's pretty, I like that. That makes it pop a little more. Cute, baby, out of this world. Galaxy dream. Okay, so now, last we're gonna do lip color. So, I have this really pretty uh, color charge lipstick here. And this is in shade, uh, ah, this is in Violet Brush Matte. And so I'm going to apply this on my lips. Ooh, this is a really pretty lip color. For matte lipstick, this goes on really smooth, so I like that as well. And then to amp it up some, I have this Color Charge Lip Powder Palette here. So I'm gonna give this a try. And I'm thinking maybe we do like a fun little stripe or something. Um, like down the lip. Now, I don't know if I should do probably purple. I'm thinking maybe silver. Either silver or this white color. I'm going to take this silver color and pray that I can get this right. It doesn't look crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to take this over and I'm just going to go down the center of my lip. And then I'm going to go back and I wonder if I should do it on the top or if the bottom is good enough you think. Mm, I kind of like it just on the bottom. I feel like if I do it on the top, it would be too much. I'm going to leave it on the bottom. I think I kind of like how the bottom looks. And I have this like white eyeshadow is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to do some little dots on my face. So I'm just going to do some like fun dots above my brow. Give me more of that festival kind of look. Hopefully it works with this. If not, I was going to try with um, some like Halloween paint, pretty much. <laughs> I guess it doesn't have to be like perfect. 
but I would prefer if it was. Fun, right? It's cute, fun. Now, the tricky part is matching <laughs> on the other side. See if I can get them both on the same side correctly. So, I'm going to actually kind of map out how I have it. That way it's less likely of a chance of them being so off. <laughs> so much for that being even. It's a little off, but whatever. It'll be okay. Doesn't have to be perfect, Kayla. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm wondering if I should just leave it at that. What do you think? Or do you like, I should do one dot. And that's all I'm gonna do, I think. Let me spare myself before I completely screw this look up. So. There we have it. This is the look. <laughs> I hope you like it. It actually is really cute though. I'm kind of really proud of myself for doing this. I think it's fun and festive and so very festival whether you're going to Coachella, Bonnaroo, go Coachella on your pass, but and so it's Bonnaroo I think. But there's other festivals coming up. There's other festivals coming up. So this is a good look to rock. Very fun, you got the colored hair, and if not this year, there's next year. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this fun festival look here. I had a very great time making it and doing this, and I absolutely had a great time trying out some of these Revlon products as well. Um, so it's an overall great experience. Hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please. Hit that thumbs up button at the bottom. If you loved it, please subscribe to my channel. You can always find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Pinterest, and Facebook and Twitter at Pumps and Pats. And make sure you stop by the blog. There is some new content on there and some new stuff coming up. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye!